Do we remember how as children we had this perfect idea of what our adult lives would look like? I remember. Hi, I'm Miranisa, a content creator from Ghana, and this is Miranisa's Mini Moments. And you're in front of me today because I was having a conversation with myself, and I figured it was a really good conversation, so I'm going to turn it into content. Yes, I talk to myself. I don't know how people survive this world today without talking to themselves, and I heard that there are people that don't talk to themselves, and that is wild to me because... I give myself my best advice. Talk to yourself. I promise it doesn't make you crazy. Schedule some time and have a chit chat with yourself. It is worth it. I promise. Yeah. Do you remember how as a child you had this idea of what your adulthood would look like and the different timelines and the different things you would have accomplished by a certain age? Yeah. I do too. And I have this lovely letter that I plagiarized when I was 12 years old to remind me <laughs> of what I wanted to be as an adult. It was my sister's work. I didn't do the assignment. I took hers, cancelled her name, cancelled her occupation, and made it mine. Work smart, not hard. Let's read this together. In 10 years' time, I would hope to be a qualified lawyer. Scratch that, doctor. So after I complete JSS, I will go to Wesley Girls High School at Cape Coast in the central region of Ghana. After completing Wesley Girls High School, in three years' time, I would like to be a lawyer, scratch that doctor. So I will go to the University of Ghana Law, scratch that medical school, <laughs> where I will study hard and come out as a qualified lawyer, scratch that doctor, after six years at the school. Miranaya, no, Miranisa. <laughs> Even that dream changed as I got older and this is how my life was going to go. I was going to graduate uni first class honors in psychology, get a good paying job, be married by 25, have my first child by 26 years old, my second child by 28, living in a three or four bedroom house that my husband and I built and owned with a large beautiful compound with grass or a pool, maybe two dogs. We definitely have four cars because we like to switch around and we are hosting a lot of barbecues and fun times with our friends. It is the perfect life. Spoiler alert, that is not how my life went. This is how it actually went. I graduated uni not as a first class student in psychology but in marketing. I got my first job and I realized that working is really hard. I left that job really depressed. I now have a job. I don't know if it's a good paying job. It pays something and I guess that that's a good thing. I got married not at 25 years old, but at 27 years old. I am 28 years old now and I don't have my first or second child. I'm not living in a three or four bedroom house that my husband and I built and owned. Our compound has grass, I guess, doesn't have a pool and no dogs. I sometimes get caught comparing myself to an idealized version of the person I thought that I should have been, thinking about the dreams that I had in my childhood and wondering why I haven't accomplished them all, and my thoughts have turned into mental checklists with way too many to-dos that are unchecked. And there are some things that I feel like I cannot check. For example, I was supposed to get a good paying job, and I did that, and then we were hit with inflation. And now my good paying job was now a paying job. And that cycle is overwhelming. It really is overwhelming. Am I wasting my 20s? I don't know. I really don't. I'm trying to remind myself that life is not a checklist or a race to win and that it can be beautiful, unpredictable and messy. When I think back on my journey, I see moments of laughter, joy, growth and unexpected turns and all of these experiences and details have shaped me into the person that i am now and even though i haven't achieved all of the things that i once envisioned that is okay life had other plans for me and i need to learn to embrace that i'm learning to find solace in the present moment and appreciate the progress that i've made the milestones that I have achieved may not match societal or internal expectations, but they must count for something. I also need to learn to define success on my own terms based on my passions and values 
because the worth of my journey cannot be measured against someone else's. I've started to pursue my passions without the weight of comparisons holding me back. I've recently gotten back on YouTube and it feels really good because after my first job, I was so depressed that the things that brought me joy did not anymore. And that resulted in me being away from YouTube for over four years. Because at some point, I was more focused on building my life and meeting all these timelines that I felt like I needed to meet. And I've come to realize it's not about being where I should have been. It's about embracing the process of becoming. Becoming who I need to be and becoming my best self. And every step, every stumble and every fall, and Lord knows I have fallen many times, I need to start to view as opportunities for growth. So here I am embracing my unique path, letting go of all of the comparisons and one size fit all timelines. I'm not wasting my 20s. I'm living my 20s and I'm exactly where I need to be doing what I need to be doing.